is Big Brother Eviction number six, coming to you live from Dreamworld. Now, please welcome your host, Gretel Galeen. That is very good because tonight is the love show. <laughs> Settle down, we've got a lot to get through. Welcome to our lovely audience and to our loved ones. Thank you from all corners of the nation. Now, of course, love is in the air tonight. Yeah, we all know love is a many splendid thing. Love makes the world go round, love is all you need, but love can also make you feel car sick, <laughs> and love can hurt, and tonight, someone's going to get their heart broken. <laughs> Who will it be? Who will it be? Will it be Marty? Will it be Jess? Will it be Brody? Or will it be you guys? Who knows? Somebody has to go, so hit those phones. Brody, if you would like Brody to go, the eviction number is 1902 555010. For Jessica to go, ring 1902 555011. For Marty to go, call 1902 555012. Now, this week, the votes have been the closest of the whole series, so make yours count. Tonight we'll go to the absolute edge of the eviction precipice and only a handful of votes could decide who gets pushed onto this stage. Now the housemates of course have absolutely no idea how close it is. We're going to cross over there. It's a huge crowd, everyone. <laughs> Quiet as a mouse. Shush. Hello house. Hello. Hi. Hi. It's nice to see you. Now, we were thinking as we were all getting prepared, if you're going to have anything sent into the house, one by one, what would it be? Yeah. Footy. <laughs> Kieran, can we start with you? You're on the left. Um, my grandmother. Okay, that's sounding off. No, no, she's really cool. She's cool. Oh, all right. Fair enough. What about you, Mirabai? Photo album. A photo album of your family? Cool. Okay, who's sitting next to you? I haven't quite got a good... There we've got... Uh, Alex, what would you like brought into the house? A very special friend, Gretel. She knows who she is. Oh! oh. It's my grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> I hope she does know who she is. You might have a thousand confused women watching. All right. Brady, what would you have brought into the house? I'd have that entire crowd out there because they sound pretty big tonight. <laughs> You. It'd have to be you, Gretz. <laughs> hey! What was that? It'd have to be you. Oh, <laughs> well, that's very special and intimate. Thank you, Sarah. <laughs> what about you, Pete? Nothing. Pretty happy. It's all good. Aww. Don't need anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, down the front there, we've got Nathan. What would you like? Um, well, Brody attempted to cut my hair the other day, so I need some clippers because I've got chunks. <laughs> through my hair. Maybe you could just get some new hair. Well, maybe. <laughs> Marty? Um, Anthony Wyatt. Gretel, I think um, all the footies to be returned would be all right. Hey! <laughs> Can you say that slowly? The footballs. All our balls. Oh, you, want the, the you want your balls back. Yeah. Bad luck, Marty. What about you, Jess? A stereo! Yes. You want a stereo? Yes. Music! Well, Sadly, I'm not at liberty to give you any of those, but I'm um, done. Yeah, sorry. Now, we will be catching up, in particular, talking to the nominees very, very shortly. It's nice to see you all again. Well, 
Brody is looking as cool as ever there, but getting nominated in his first week as a full Big Brother housemate nearly shook the little frogman off his lily pad. This week, there are three nominees for eviction. They are Brody, Jessica, and Marty. Oh! Like I was expecting my name to be nominated last week, as I was expecting both Kieran and I. So it was a bit of a shock not to hear his name, but then that allowed me to sort of step back a bit and, and just sort of assess my situation and where I was in the house. Ah, <laughs> oh dear. Hear me right. Oh, I'm fine. I just find it amusing how much everyone bullshits about it all. Nah, no, I'm not gonna play it. I want my guitar. <laughs> I hate getting in these moods. I hate it. I don't want to leave this place. <laughs> it caused me to withdraw a little bit, but then after a couple of days I realised, hey, yeah, you're lucky to be here anyway. Jeff Buckley says, we're only here for this moment. I just hope everyone out there loves us. You killed himself, didn't you? I think so. I feel confident because I was voted in here by the public. Wow, Frogman. <laughs> This is, this is a prank. <laughs> <laughs> On the other side, I sort of think, oh, well, maybe, yeah, I have got in here, but haven't bonded as quickly with the rest of the people um, as Kieran has. <laughs> It'll lock this bastard out. Maybe they don't want to split up the, the sort of Marty and Jess kind of um, duo thing. It'd be more of an impact if one of them leave. Instead of you. Yeah. The biggest thing I've not missed the whole time is having a phone and wallet. Um, that's been fantastic, being able to just get up each day and sort of do whatever you want to do. <laughs> The thing I enjoy about here is actually being part of the game and then the, the friendships and the relationships and stuff are all just a bonus, I think. Just being part of the whole game is the exciting thing for me. Well, Mirabai had said to us this week that she really doesn't know Brody. Now, I know there are a lot of chicks out there who would like to get to know him, so it's time to discover what lies beneath Mr. Smooth Silky Exterior? And let's, of course, hope it is genetic because joining me are two of his brothers who are also rather cute, Judd and Kirby. Now, who's the eldest? Um, how old are you? I'm 21. Well, how old is Brody? He's 24. He's 24, and how old are you? I'm 18. Oh, little baby! <laughs> <laughs> Have lots of girls become interested in you because your brother's on television? Oh, not really. They just sort of ask me how Brody's going, that's about it, and move on, so... Yeah. How does he fit into the, the family? He's the eldest child. Yeah. He's a pretty confident guy. Mm. He is, yeah. I mean, he's the leader of the fam, just about. Yeah. Say. yeah. And is he the guy, the same guy you know at home, is the guy that you're seeing in the house? Yeah, I think so. I mean, he wears his heart in his sleeve, and uh, I think we're seeing the real Brody, so... Yeah. Absolutely. And what about the babe magnet, Brody? <laughs> oh, do girls... <laughs> are girls a bit keen on him? Uh, they are. I mean, he's probably not the player that you guys are making him out to be. <laughs> yeah, I mean... I'm sorry. I just, <laughs> I just imagined him in bed with Mirabai. I'm uh, so sorry about that. It was just coincidental. <laughs> yeah. And, and sorry, I just had a flash of Shannon kissing him. Oh, no, that was chocolate they were exchanging. Well, yeah. Just get it off his face, that was it. <laughs> yeah. That's all plutonic. Yeah. Oh, OK, so he's, he's a babe mate. The longest relationship he's ever had is two months, isn't it? Something like that. Oh, a little bit longer, yeah. I mean, he's, he's had his heartbreaks like the rest of us, I think. Oh, well, that's encouraging. I'm glad to hear that. Oh, yeah. Now, his heart yeah. was broken, of course, when he was nominated this week. Mm. How do you think he coped with that? He looked a bit sad and went a bit quiet. Yeah, he, um, whenever he gets bad news, he always sort of just goes back to himself and tries to figure out what went wrong. Um, but I think he'll be all right if he, um, if he gets through this one. All right. Well, thank you both of you for joining us. Oh, thank you. Do you reckon he'll be out tonight? Hope not. I, I think he might. And if he is, well, you know, I can't wait to see him. You're so. all ready. All yeah, right. No, thank absolutely. you, Judd. Thank you, Kirby. Thank you very much. More blokes when we'll be back with a pair of dashing dads for the first time ever. 
the fathers of Marty and Jess will meet for the very first time right here on the stage. What will happen to this relationship? Not theirs, of course, when me and Jess and Marty's. Stay with us, we'll be back after this. Proceed with the operation. Roger. that this couch is warmed by the nimble bottoms of two attractive Aussie men like this. In fact, this is an Australian television first. Would you please welcome, popping in from next door here on the Gold Coast, Jessica's dad, Bill, and straight from the farm in 2J, Western Australia's Marty's dad, John. Okay. Right. <laughs> now look at the two of you snuggled up over there, quite yeah. far away from me. Are you bonding already? Yes, so we're bonding. We're Are you? Bonding. We're doing a bit of bonding. Now, this is the first time you've met? The first it is. time you've Correct. snuggled? Yep. Yes. All right. Yep. Now, you've watched Jess on the television there, haven't you? Yes, I have. You're Fertile. watching Marty yes. on the television? Yes. Now, did you often think, gee, I wonder what Jess's dad's like? Um, I've thought a lot about um, Jess's family, and I, I saw her mother last week, and I was really impressed. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody that. Anybody that can laugh that much has got to be a lovely person. You know, laughter's a good, good medicine. I have to point out here that if Jess is just like her mum, Marty's pretty much like his dad. Yeah? I think. Now, what about you? You obviously lay awake at night wondering what Marty's family was like. I do, I do. I mean, um, they're right over there in Western Australia, and I thought, I wonder what they're like. And, I mean, Marty seems like a regular guy, and they're having fun, and I think they're, they're probably a wonderful family. All right, now that we've got the soft stuff done, we'll be probing you about the relationship later. But first, let's see how Jessica coped with her third week facing possible eviction. I'll give you a clue. Marty was on her mind. You're very, very pretty. Mm -hmm. You're very, very nice. <laughs> Marty and I have developed quite a good friendship, and so we're going head to head this week with the whole eviction thing, so that's kind of playing on my mind a bit. Oh, no. Half chewed by a bird. What do you want to do? It's your decision, nurse. I think we can bring him back. Yeah. How, Jess? How do you manage to do this? You know, it's just what I do. I'm so gentle, you can be right. Can I? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, I love the task this week because. Dressing up is just one of my favourite pastimes. Predictable. I don't even mind being nominated this week. I just yeah. don't like being yeah, up against right. Marty. I think it's good we get to go through it together. I could probably say it now. I don't know. This is going to be a real tough one for me. I, I'm, yeah, I'm fearing it a lot, but I'm, I'm getting prepared just in case I have to go. Okay. 
She is beautiful, isn't she? What's she, she like? Is beautiful. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> now I see when, but that was a pathetic response. Wasn't it? Did you bring that all the way from Western Australia? <laughs> of course, what you don't realise is I control the cameras. <laughs> I can say whatever I want about you now. Off you go. Um, <laughs> no, thanks for that. Now I see where Marty gets his prankster sense of humour. I guess I that so. means we're friends. Thanks. <laughs> I wish I might have a relationship with it. Thank you. <laughs> Not that sort. <laughs> now, the big question, of course, is what's going to happen to these two if they get split up? I myself am quite disturbed by this. You know Jess. She says she's never felt like this before. As a dad, what do you reckon? Oh, I think it'll, uh, if, if Jessica happened to go tonight, I think she'll be quite upset for a while about Marty. I mean, she's going to be able to watch him on television and think about all the good times they had together, and I, I think she'll probably be quite upset about it for quite a while. And what about Marty? Marty has a girlfriend, doesn't he? Who you know? It's... Ma Marty has got a, um, a friend, yes, yeah, and... Um, <laughs> it was only... Marty's only 19. And a teenage love, it was. And obviously the public thinks it's over. I don't know. Um, we'll have to wait and see. But he'd only known her for six months. And I, I just turned it as... They may have been closer than I thought, I don't know. Have you wrestled with that a little bit in your heart? Uh, look, I feel for the girl, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I but know, it's hard, isn't it? The biggest problem is that I did ask him to talk to her before he went in, into Big Brother, and I know he didn't do that, so... Didn't listen to his dad? No, he didn't listen to his dad. Well, let's have a look at what Marty's been up to this week. Actually, a bit of a relief. I think I've been biting my tongue every time the nom nominations process has sort of come up, um, expecting that I would be up. I said about halfway so before I came in. I said half. Uh, I said to my mate, how long? He said, yeah, half. So it's made me think a little bit more about home and that, and think more about family and what's going on. It does, mate, doesn't it? Think that, yes. I think, oh, Dad's yeah. going on. So I wonder what Dad'll be doing. Mm. Well, last night, just dreams. You know, yeah, yeah, you actually mm. start in the back of your mind preparing yourself. Yes, you do. Subconsciously. And, and that actually makes it harder to be here. Is that what? The task was great fun. I love being Dream Boy, um, but after I heard the theme song, it was just all so dreamy and, and that sort of thing. Maybe I should have chosen a more masculine name, I'm not sure. But it was great fun anyway. Ah! Is it me? Get out! Hang on, my boxes are in They are too! All right. What a fight! Yeah, they're even clean. And who knows, I mean, I could be on the tractor next week, or, um, as Dad would probably hope I would be. I don't want Dad to come up here for nothing, but I'd love him to be here if I was going to get out. If it has to come to an end, then so be it. I know that um, I've got a long way, more than I would have expected, to, to come in the house, and, yeah, it's just... It has been just a fantastic experience. Okay, do you think that they'll get married and have children? Well, we, Let's cut to the chase. We heard, uh, we heard Jess was pregnant, so maybe they will have them before they get out. Yeah, well, I heard a rumour I was pregnant, and I can assure you those things come from nowhere. Well, I hope it nowhere. Was, hope it wasn't Marty. No, Big Brother said it was him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, so you'd be happy to have her on the farm, singing? Yes, she seems lovely. Yeah, yeah and, and what yeah. about you? Happy to have Jess over there? Living with Marty, having lots of children like well, the Waltons? Well, yeah, but it could be it could be the other way around. I mean, Marty may go with Jess as she meanders off on her entertainment career. Yes, they may become could buskers. Be we, might, we might take him away from the farm. Who knows? Well, I don't think Dad will let you do that. Thank you, Bill, <laughs> and thank you, John. Thanks very much. Well, we've seen how all three nominees dealt with the past week, and we've met some members of their families. Have you changed your mind about this eviction or are you more sure than ever? There is still time to vote. 
don't go away because we have a serious update from the House after the break. There are splits, clicks, people locked out of bedrooms and housemates who are traumatised by the way this house seems to be tearing in two. I could have been a contender. Oh man, this is crazy. What a feeling. Feeling. I could have been almost anything. Scared and prepared. I could have been a contender. Yeah, if I have to go home, I guess I do. The lines are about to close, so get dialing. Okay, the housemates have been busy little bees during the last 48 hours. Jess filled the spa with detergent. Brody finally snuck in a kiss with Mirabai. <laughs> Someone felt nervous about eviction, but that news has been swept from the front page. The breaking story tonight is the battle of the bedrooms. Now, we heard warning shots during the week, and now it's on. Bedroom two, Alex, Nathan, Sarah, Pete and Kieran have been holding, get this, nightly congregations where they summon a chosen one from the other bedroom. They make an Indian call to signal their secret meetings are on. Then they talk in code about their favourite subject, the other housemate. Sorry for interrupting you. Oh, sorry to interrupt the brown room. Yeah, that's just straight away. If that's the brown room thing, then... Pete, we have things to discuss. Pete! Hey. No, you know what you want? Sorry. I can feel it. You are. You are. You are. You're in here, Missy. You're alive. Tell me. What's the go? I think we suck. Well, what did they say? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're just talking shit. They're just What's talking, talking about Maccas and... No, what are they talking about? Maybe I just want to show you. No, you don't know. I, know. I knew the airplanes, but they've changed it. Like come in here too late, so I'm trying to understand it. So just give me a couple of minutes. I'll know. Why? To the people who are here, all I can say is that uh, McDonald's made it very clear that his intentions were, were very high on Subway. Oh. Hey! We should never go in there again, I right? Cool. What's this whole thing they're doing? They think they're cool. They think they're cool. They think they think they're cool. They think that we, they should, we should be feel privileged to go into their room. We shouldn't. Maybe we should burn all our room. Sleep in the, out in our <laughs> Not even sleep in our room. In fact, let's drag our beds out here. <laughs> Do you want to? And we're trying to sit in the lounge and go, hey, guys, you're in our room. Let's, let's play a game. Yeah. Yeah, let's <laughs> play a game of... Celebrity Bars. something, Bussars, yeah. And you're not in it, and you're not in it. Mm. Got some other ones. Yes. Tosses. Yeah, you're into something. Do you guys want to eat something? Like? Chips, chocolate, something that they can do with it. <laughs> Let's. The gossiping continued for over 40 minutes. The subject stayed the same, although the code names varied. Uh, who will know? Since the uh, career pilot was I think the, uh, I think the Air New Zealand flight on the tarmac was waiting the air crew to ramp. Meanwhile in the kitchen, the excluded three baked biscuits. Yum! Fun for all the family. That'll look. Tuck it in. <laughs> Aren't you even going to smooth it out? Nah. <laughs> Look at that and just mung out on one little big mound. We're eating the whole lot of it. Nathan was the first to emerge from the bedroom and Marty decided to confront him. 
No, I just think that sometimes people like to know fully what's going on, and especially if it's about them. I mean, not to include people in things um, that, are, that are about them. And what, what isn't anyone including anyone in? Well, when you guys call it those little names, like it's like, come here, and we talk about Virgin and Qantas or whatever. Yeah, and that was a joke in a room, so every little joke that you say with Jess do we all get informed on? It's Does the same it? sort of thing. Seriously, it is. And the thing is, that was said, Jess knows, Mirabai knows, everyone else knows, you just don't know because you haven't been in the room. Okay. So it's nothing that anyone's being let out and let, not, not let on anything, but the thing is... Just me. You're just, you've just had a bit of an attitude with it today, and I just don't understand why, because I have got no ill feelings for anyone. I am completely honest with everyone in this house. Everything I say out of my mouth goes exactly to the person I say about. And um, you're sitting there thinking that there's some malicious intent there. And when you say that on camera, it looks like there is malicious intent. And that defies me a bit. And other people that are involved. And the thing is, you should know me enough to know that there, that doesn't happen, Marty. As I would never think that you would say anything bad about someone. Does that agree? Yeah. Oh no, is it, is it or not? Yeah. What about that? The plot is thickening. Oh, and the lines are closed. What have we got here? Two people dressed in a sheet. What have you come as? Marty and Jess. I'll stand up. What's the zigzag down the middle? I get broken up. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Very, very it's a bit crooked. Did it take you very long to make this? Two minutes. Yes, isn't that surprising? No, thank you. And, and you use it as a paint drop sheet ordinarily. Oh, no, they needs washing. Yes. I know. All right, thank you for that. And look at you. Who are you? Emily. And oh, who are you dressed Jess. as? You're dressed as Jess. And do you yep. sing as well as Jess does? Um, no. <laughs> you don't. Okay, and you are? Country bumpkin. Oh, yes, you are. And hello, little bunny. Um, say Jessica. Jessica. Have you come as Jessica? Are you a good dancer? Can you do a little Jessica dance for me now? Do you want me to do it with you? What does she do? Yeah, that's exact. Good girl. <laughs> Okay, thank you. And what are you? I uh, wear Pete's Turkish Delights. Oh, are you Hi, now? Emily. Hello. Hi there, stand up. Let's get a good look at you. All right, good lateral thinking there. That is, of course, a love letter between Pete and Turkan. Now, dress up when you come to one of our evictions because, as you know by now, a selected person from One Night Show gets pizza supplied for a year from Pizza Hut and you go in the running to win the LG plasma screen from inside the house. Okay, that's worth $10,000. Now, I know, it's really, really close, and after the break, we are gonna find out who is being evicted. This is Big Brother. There are five minutes to eviction. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Today, just going around that. That was his dark voice. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have seen a split in the house, but tonight there is also a serious split in the audience over who is leaving. The numbers have been tallied and double checked, and we even needed an extra audit just to be sure. It's time to cross to the house and deliver your verdict. Hello, house. Hello, Granny. Okay, I just need a close-up of our three nominees. Can we do that, big brother? There we are. Okay. Now, Brody. Yes. So you kiss Mirabai? Yep. <laughs> How will you feel if you're out of the house tonight? How will I feel if I'm out of the house tonight? Yeah. Um, I feel like a rock star, actually, if I get out of the house tonight. Would you? Yeah. Okay. And did you kiss Mirabai again? 
Would I? No, did you? Did you just say goodbye, my love? No, not yet. I don't know if I'm going yet. <laughs> no, but I mean as a precautionary thing, of course. Ah, oh, give her a kiss now. Yeah, 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 give her a kiss yeah. now. I didn't mean that sort of kiss, Brody. Oh, <laughs> now, what about you, Marty, the most hopeless bloke in the world? How many times have you been up for nomination, Jess? Three, this is my third. And has Marty ever said... Goodbye, I'll no, see you outside. No, you're right, he is hopeless. <laughs> <laughs> Marty, no, he said goodbye. Why don't you do that? Well, she hasn't gone yet, the same as Brody says. <laughs> but, but don't you want to have a quiet moment and tell Thank her how you much know. you care about her? And... Jess you, knows what's going on, Gretel. Girls aren't like that, Marty. We need words. <laughs> you're right, yes. <laughs> we can't look at someone cracking a whip and know what that means. <laughs> Quickly, have you said goodbye to Marty or have you given up on the talking rock? Oh, I've given up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, who thinks it's going to be them tonight? Me! Yeah, I'll go. <laughs> You're all going. Yeah. Okay, should we get it? I'm going to read the envelope. <laughs> okay, it's time to go. Brody. <laughs> This is Big Brother. You have 20 seconds to leave the house. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You'll be Like this one? Brilliant. Ah, mm -hmm. oh, at this moment. You can see him, right? Have a nice seat on the back of the buggy, right? <laughs> Enjoy yourself! Back your way, not today. Just go later! Go away, not today! Good day, guys! Woo! Come on, do the night! We've just made it a discovery! Keep up yelling! to the stage and I am joined by Judd, Brody's brother. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good, thank you. You're feeling yeah. good. Brody looks really disappointed. Oh, I think he will be a little bit, but look, he's had a great time and he, you know, he would have had a ball, so... Mirabai's crying. Is she? Yeah, Mirabai's uh, again. crying. <laughs> don't be tough on the girls. What are you thinking back there, brother? Oh, I don't know really, it's a bit... It's overwhelming, isn't it? Is it? Overwhelming, Imagine how yeah. overwhelming it's been for Brody. An yeah. intruder, all the selection process, getting into the house, nominated, yeah. someone else goes, bang, out he goes. He's had a tough ride. He's had a tough ride. Right. We'd better give him some love when he comes out, don't you all think? Okay, we will be back after the break when Brody joins us on this stage to be a rock star. How are you? Very good. Absolutely.
feel like a rock star tonight. Do you mm. feel like one? Yeah, you do now. It's uh, unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> you, you wait for this because you've seen it before, you know. Um, in the last series and stuff, everyone walked out there just to this amazing thing. And corner of your eye. Yep. I can see a tear. Yeah, it's... Just... Oh, I'm, a, I'm a real guy. I'm a real guy. You do real things. It's, um, it's one of those situations where you come down that thing and you just don't know what's going to happen and then everyone's putting mics on you and doing all that sort of stuff and then everyone starts chanting your name. For a long time, haven't you? you? How many weeks were you an intruder for? Was we're, it four? It was four and a half weeks of intruder, and then um, just a wait to see if we got in here. And then we've been in there just over two and a half. Oh, I've been in there two and a half weeks. Then. Yeah, I was talking to Nicole last week. I reckon it's one of the toughest gigs because you have your holiday where there's no pressure at all, and then you had no idea. Oh, it wasn't a holiday. Yeah. Oh, really? It looked no, like a holiday. Just wakeboarding and rock climbing and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, it was good. See, we, um, we were lucky because we got to do all of that and basically we could switch on and off uh, when we had to. Whereas when we got into the house, it was, you have to be on the whole time. Yeah. Which, you had to get used to that and it was really good. Well, let's have a look. We'll start by having a look at your time in the house. Cool. Over here. Let's do it. We've got another one. <laughs> that's, that's quite a, quite a sexy thing. Yeah. Oh! Maybe we can work with that. <laughs> yes. Nice one, man. I don't want to leave this place. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Mira, can I play your thing? Yeah. I'm the kind of person who always likes to uh, begin where the action is and um, if something comes my way then, then I usually go to it. Take this down just a little bit shorter so that it has more of a rocker to it. Whatever you want. Whatever. Thank you for um, mm. all feeling for making us feel very welcome anyway. Mm. No problem. Mm. I'm gonna love life when you're out here. Can I get a copy of that? Of course you can. How good is that? So you don't realise how amazing the whole thing looks, do no, you? you? And don't. actually to be able to see what a good time you had. Mm. Because you must have had a pretty hard week. You went into your shell a little bit, I thought. Yeah, this, this last week's been the most, the weirdest one. Yeah. Because when we're sitting there on the couch and you're the new guys and you wait to hear your name called, like, which is what we've done every single week, it's just been waiting to hear our name, whatever. And then when they didn't say Kieran's name, I've gone, oh, right, okay. So what, what does that mean? You know? And then, because my name was first, and they said Jess and Marty, and I've gone, oh, no. So it's, it's the couple, it's, and then me, the new guy. And, and this week, a lot of stuff came out this week. I think um, people started to talk more openly about things as well. Because there's a lot of talk and not much action in this place. There really is. What? Talk about what? That everyone says, oh, like, they say everything that they mean and, yeah. you know, all that sort of stuff. But you can always tell people are talking other things. Like, I'd love, I can't wait to see all the stuff that goes on when you're not in that room. And I want to know what, ha what the intruders were. We don't know. We don't know what we are. You know, we've just that to this, so... Just while you're on the subject of that, this other bedroom thing, we had footage of you over the weekend being called into the other bedroom as, like there was going to be some meeting and oh, yeah. then they asked you to leave. And How do you feel about that, living in a, a circumstance where you don't know who your friend is and who your enemy is and you don't belong to the secret club? I've just gone with the flow. It doesn't matter. And I, what's my saying? Bridge, water, under it, over it, whatever. <laughs> Whatever yeah. situation you get in, you just, you just go with it. It's, it's amazing. There's been five of them in that room and four of us in the other room, and it's been like there was ten of them in that room and only four of us in the other room. We were our little purple room group, so... Yeah, mm. yeah, power in numbers. Mm. Speaking of power, you are a bit of a babe magnet, judging... Well, in fact... Love that. Just 
bit of a magnet, okay. as it would appear. That's okay. Uh, let's have a look at the people who were attracted to you in the house. I've been hearing in the rumour mill that there are various amount of people out there who have a major crush on you. How does that make you feel being so light within such a short period of time? Oh, look, it's been fantastic. And to be loved by everyone, you know, uh, many, many people have tried and many people have failed, but I think, uh, I think I'm think i going quite well. Nick, I'm in your mum, you're all my, my brother and all these mates, all the guys that we've been attracted to. This is called the Tipple Tower Spoon. Nice, nice. I found that I've been very attracted to you in the house. Not quite that. I'm just completely relaxed. Thank you for your hospitality last night. I do. I hate asking these sort of questions, but what's your take on our little bed buddy relationship? It's been going with a fight. Yeah. I'm like that anyway. Someone decides that they want to jump from a bed and give me a cuddle or, or I climb into theirs and I do it. Want a hug? Do you want a hug? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Do you need it? Do you need it? Do you need it? It says, there's a sign in the audience that says, do you know the extent of your charisma? No, nah, not yet. <laughs> Find out soon. What, what was going on with you and Mirabai? She's absolutely gorgeous, just absolutely gorgeous, and I summed it up, which is what they're probably listening to now. I don't know if you guys get to see it. When, when we go, we send a little message to every other housemate in the house, and basically the things I just said to her, that her violin playing and singing and everything is all those exterior things, but she's just such a beautiful person on the inside as well. And it's, it's so cliche to say that, but she's just amazing. Yeah, yeah, but you seem to have second thoughts in there. Like, obviously she's yeah. beautiful. Then you were nominated, and did you think, whoops, maybe I'm doing the wrong thing? Uh, I don't know. I was in exactly the same situation as an intruder. There's, you know, you people you, you can get you can get fond of, and you quizzed us on it, you know, two and a half weeks ago. But there's always things you're expecting to walk into outside of the house. People leaving people behind as well. So, I don't know. See, so I just want to ride this wave now and, and see whatever happens. So when Mirabai was fishing, wanting to have an explanation from you about how you felt for her, you were aware of that, weren't you? I was. Yeah. Um, See, I, I never like talking about exes or situations or anything like that. And as soon as someone says to me, oh, listen, I think we should talk, I actually switch off most of the time. What a bloke. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> Let's no, have a I'm, only in a, I'm in it for fun and, yeah. Fair enough. Would you like to see, I know you're in it for fun, so this won't hurt. Who nominated you this week? Yeah, Can absolutely. Okay, for two points, I'll nominate um, Broadster, Brody. Sometimes if um, Brody doesn't get his own way, he snaps a little bit and gets a little bit huffed. And I'm sort of taking it as a joke at the moment, but I think there might be a few serious undertones there. I'm going to go Brody. He doesn't rinse his plates after he, like, finishes eating. Brody gets one point. Um, uh, at the moment, he is probably representing the least value to me in the house. Uh, our conversations aren't going far as they are with others, and I would, at this stage, prefer um, to have the others in the house. Nominate Brody for two points. He's just been a little bit um, inconsiderate at times. N not all the time, it's only a little thing, but um, yeah. I'm going to give one point to Brody. Um, I feel at times Brody can be become disinterested and a bit flighty with when we're having conversations. Oh, like I find that, you know, he's not listening to me, in a way. Put this book down. Relax. I'm not going to hurt you. No, but... You know that. I can't go sit on the dots. Okay. Do you want to see how the votes went? How Australia voted? Yeah, absolutely. I'm out okay. here now, so it doesn't matter. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, 49% Brody, 39% Jessica, and 12% Marty. Even 49 is not a pass, is it? <laughs> <laughs> you did pass. Now, uh, you're going to be back with us after the break, because cool. I've got a lot of questions I want to ask you, and I know you're not scared anymore, so that's cool. But I have some prizes for you. Sony PlayStation 2. Ripper. Cool. PlayStation. Week for two. Oh. On Great Purple Island. Nice. From Kentucky and the Flight Centre. Nice. 
Now I have to shuffle through here. You've Thank got you, 2,000 bucks on this. Beautiful. You don't owe it to them, they're giving it to you. Lovely. And the fabulous Big Brother game. Ah, oh, Rupa. He's one of these to the house, I reckon. They're not allowed to play with it. Okay. We haven't finished with this young man yet. We all want to find out who the real Brody is, and we might find out after the break. Because you do look in the mirror a lot. <laughs> do not. <laughs> not messing up your hair, am I? Do I really give off an impression, do I? <laughs> Gee whiz. Maybe I do, because that's a fair few people that's told me that now. <laughs> yeah, you do. Isn't it funny? I worry that it looks messy enough to make me feel cool. <laughs> Okay, are you composed now? Yep. All right, now, we've seen you with the tear in your eye coming out of the house. Yep. We've seen you being very affectionate and fond with Mirabai. We've seen you um, laughing, dancing, carrying on, and yet you seem to have a bit of a broken heart this week. Just, just wondering, what is that all about? You're in a house with people who you, you automatically want to be friends with, but it is a competition, isn't it? Mm. it? That's what not everyone gets about the whole thing. It is very much a game. You know, um, and the, the bonus stuff that you get is the friendships, okay? Um, making it to each new week was, was a really cool thing. Um, but, I mean, the real Brody himself, when, when the 40-hour famine thing was on and Ben came up on the screen and told us all to take part of it, and then at the end of it he came on and said, congratulations, we're doing it. And then he said this thing that kept on ringing in my head, and it was, um, just remember, guys, this is your only shot, so, yeah, do your best at it. And I thought, no, that's not the right thing to say because everyone should be just being themselves in here, right? Which is, again, another cliche thing to say, but that's all I was as an intruder, um, myself, and then all you guys voted me in there. So I just went in there as the same person. You know, I thought, there's no point putting a front on. Yeah, if they said that I cracked it over little things, I'd do that anyway, you know? But it must be hard walking in when there are already those solid relationships. And you were a bit distrusting of some of them, weren't you? Did you? Yeah, I mean... I hate shallowness in people, um, and they're all absolutely fantastic people in there. But, are they um, really all fantastic? They are. They are. They're, all, they're a good bunch. Um, a lot of people do put up fronts, though. And so what, what Kieran, Nicole and I were walking into when we went in there was um, we ha already had our sort of four-and-a-half, five-week relationship, right, this friendship thing that we had going on. So we went in there as the new people, the new toys, all right? And a lot of people said, um, oh, no, you guys, you're not intruders, you know, you're the new housemates, all that sort of thing. We never knew. Right? Our whole journey has been never knowing what's going on. Yeah. Right? Even though we were out there in a secret location and stuff, we didn't know what was going on. Yeah, tough one. And that was a real, real credit to the crew and stuff that we're working on it, so. Anyone in particular who you think is playing the game? In the house? Yeah, like not necessarily being well, themselves, being a bit more calculated than that? Um, no, nah, Al's, Al's so himself. Um, and if anyone, if anyone, the thing that blows me away is, is how energetic Nathan is the whole time, right? And our, like the first night we got in here, it was just in the house, it was unbelievable. Just this, this, everyone was right in your face, right? And then there was Turks and Pete were having, you know, their discussion, that sort of thing, which was good because it brought us back down. You know, we were up on cloud nine yeah. somewhere and that brought, that, oh yeah, this is a real place and there are real relationships and bonds and stuff going on in here. So I just don't know how he disdains this ener energy. It's unbelievable. Yeah. You've been great. We really appreciate it. I think you're fab. Let's see what your, um, your item is here. This is the legacy item. This is my legacy item, yeah. Some juggling balls, which they just I found them in my case and I actually didn't use them as an intruder and then I brought them out and everyone started to juggle with them. So basically every person in the house from when I got in there has had a play with these things. So that means that everyone in the house has played with my balls, which I guess is good. Yeah, cool. And who, who 
I will receive the money, the charity money. The Anti-Cancer Council of Victoria. Okay, sure. cool. If you want to bid on those, you know that you go to bigbrother.iprimus.com.au. There you go. Now, oh, you have to. now I've played with your balls too. Yes, yep. there we go. Okay, now, we've got ten quick questions. Okay. We're racing against the clock. Big Brother's telling me to hurry up. As he does. What was the hardest thing about being in the Big Brother house? Um, getting in there and not knowing your place. Who was your favourite person? Favourite person is the K-man, Kieran. Okay. Who was your least favourite person? Um, from the first day I got in there... Uh, we... I don't know. I'll just... I'll say Al, yeah. Okay. Who had the most annoying habit? <laughs> most annoying habit? Um, I loved it, but I hated it, and it was Jess's loud voice, but she's adorable. Okay. Who was the funniest? Kieran's the funniest. Who's the laziest? Um, <laughs> Mira, I don't know. Uh, who's the laziest? You can pass. Yeah, no, I'll pass, I don't know. Okay, what's your greatest regret in the house? I don't have regrets. You happy you kiss Mira by? Absolutely. Do you yep. think you'll see her when you leave the house? Yeah, for sure. I mean, when she leaves the house? Yep. Who'll be out next week? Uh, no, it, it can't. Out next week will be maybe Pete, Peter. And who do you think will win? I, I really want, I really want Kieran to win because he's just the greatest guy in the world. He's got so much to offer. I really do. All right. Brody, I want to thank you. I think the Intruders Road is a really tough one yeah. and you're great. You've got a lot of people out here wanting to hug and whatever. Thank you. All right, that is it for tonight. Big Brother returns with The Daily Show tomorrow night from 7pm and then the next round of nominations live at 7.30. Do not miss tomorrow night. The housemates have been having a lot of trouble with their nominations in the past two weeks. So Big Brother has devised a diabolical solution and I don't think they're going to like it one little bit. But you at home will love it. Tomorrow night, 7.30. Bye-bye. This program brought to you from Dreamworld, the home of Big Brother.